Welcome to Aggregate, an open source Python library for solving actuarial problems with aggregate probability distributions. This video explains how to create Tweedy density and distribution functions and illustrates their sometimes surprising shape. So we will begin as usual, uh, set up the graphics, import uh, build and QD. And remember the Tweedy distribution uh, is used as an error distribution in generalized linear modeling. It's an exponential family distribution. And it is a compound Poisson distribution with a gamma uh, severity. And there are a number of examples of this in the uh, built-in test cases that are loaded uh, with the build uh, object. And we can list those out here. Um, these uh, three examples are all actually the same distribution. I'll give you the same answer, but they're parameterized in three different ways. The first one here, is uh, gives the claim count 10.050 and then it specifies the severity using the mean and CV um, format. So the uh, average severity is a shade, shade less than 0.1, the CV is 0.071 and we've got our Poisson frequency that we expect. The second parameterization only differs here in the specification of the severity where it uses the shape factor for the gamma of 199, so that's the alpha, and then it uses a scale factor of 0.0005. And then because the Tweedy is uh, such an important uh, an example, such an important distribution, uh, I actually built a keyword into the DECL um, programming language, uh, so you can specify it using Tweedy, and the three arguments are the mean, the p-value, and the dispersion, the sigma squared. And remember the way the Tweedy works is the variance of a Tweedy with mean mu is the dispersion times mu raised to the power p. All right, so we can uh, we should build this. Let's build it uh, out of the um, uh, knowledge here. It's I want to build it in version two uh, format, and then let's just QA it. So. Where we're expecting a mean of one. Yes, correct. We get a mean of one. Um, we know from the, I mean, you, we'll verify this, but uh, the CV of the severity should be 0 0.070. Yep, that's what we're getting. And then the CV of the aggregate um, should be, well, it should be um, the dispersion, which is 0 0.1 times the mean, which is one raised to the power 1.005, which is going to equal 0 0.1. So the, um, and because the mean is one, the CV should actually be the square root of 0.1, which is 0.31623, which is what we're seeing here. So this is this is validating. It's a it's a good passing the the validation tests. Um, there is a built-in little uh, function in uh, aggregate uh, that we can import if you uh, just start to type here. Tweedy convert is a, a function that converts between parameterizations of the Tweedy distribution, uh, if you pop up the help. So P, mu, and sigma squared, that corresponds to the GLM approach where you specify the, the, the variance function, uh, P and the dispersion sigma squared. The lambda, alpha, and beta corresponds to giving the claim count, the shape parameter of the gamma, and the scale parameter of the gamma. And then M and CV just convert alpha and beta into the mean and CV of the um, uh, gamma distribution. So if we uh, put this in using the parameters uh, that we, we just ran with, so P is 1.005, uh, mu is uh, 1, and sigma squared is uh, 0.1, and we run that, uh, you see we actually pick up the other numbers that we see here. So we get the magic number for the CV, 0.070, uh, the 0.0995, and so forth. And uh, you can refer to, I'll put a link to a, I wrote a blog article about this. I'll put a link to that uh, in the description of this video if you want to understand uh, the relationship between uh, those parameters. So what does this guy look like? Well, let's plot it. And it uh, can be a bit surprising. Um, if, if, we, if we look at this, the gamma distribution, right, it's got a mean of 0.1 and a pretty tight uh, CV. So it's going to be clustered around uh, 0.1 values, 0.2 values, and so forth. The 0.1 is coming from the fact that we applied a dispersion of 0.1. That scales everything down by 
uh, 0.1. So this uh, orange line, as usual, is your uh, severity. Um, and uh, this is what this is actually what the density looks like, right? So it's essentially picking out individual uh, claim counts, and there's not enough dispersion in the gamma to, to smooth things out. The um, Tweedy does have a mass at zero, and it has a mass at zero of uh, uh, because you could have the possibility of, of zero claims. We've got a claim count here of 10.05, and that's a very small number. So that's uh, you know four times 10 to the minus five. This is plotting the density, so it's actually dividing the probability mass in each bucket by the bucket size. And as we saw up here, the bucket size is very small. It's 1 over 16,000. Uh, and that is why, so if I divide that by a dot bs, I get 0 0.707. That's why that line there is coming up to 0 0.707. So finally, I just want to put the Tweedy in context for you. Um, there's a little uh, figure that, uh, so there's a, there's a bunch of extensions that are, uh, package with this and in there there's a there's a number of figures that you can do and uh, one of those is called the power variance function uh, family uh, figure so just import that function it's just a function that creates uh, one uh, diagram here um, and if we uh, let's see if we got enough space to, to see this so this is showing um, how whether the Tweety fits in in terms of uh, the um, p values and the uh, alpha values uh, of the tail. So the Tweedy distribution has p values between one and two, and it interpolates between when p equals two, it actually reduces to the gamma. Um, so in in that case, you're going to have a um, uh, It'll, it'll match the gamma. And then when P is close to one, it gets closer and closer to a Poisson. And it does that by the gamma severity component getting tighter and tighter uh, clustered around one, uh, if we assume the dispersion equals uh, one. And so the aggregate basically just counts out uh, the number of claims. But it is a continuous distribution other than uh, the mass that you have at zero. And the other uh, points on here show the other uh, examples that come up. So you've got when P equals three, you get the inverse Gaussian distribution. Uh, when P equals zero, you get the normal distribution. And then there are other, actually other distributions that fit in uh, all the other values around. And again, I'll put a link to a, a blog post I did that describes this in more detail. Thank you.